Hi, my name's Annalise and I'm an abstract artist. In this short video, I'm going to be talking about a technique called ring pours. Ring pours are when you mix your paints with either pouring fluid or water to get a good consistency so you can start layering your colours into cups. You can use any colours you like, but I'd be careful with browns and greens because you could end up with a murky mess on your canvas afterwards. We get some wonderful patterns after we finish pouring and if you move your hand towards the end you'll get all these different patterns rather than the complete circles like the inside of a tree. But it's not going to stay like this because we need to tilt the canvas. If we leave it like this it will just crack because there's too much paint on the canvas. Once it's finished we can have a look at the different patterns that we've got. And you just keep tilting till you get the composition you want. Depending on the colours you use will depend on what patterns you get. But using metallics will give a more defined pattern into your finished painting. And sometimes it really pops and it makes the painting. If you use darker colours with a really bright colour and you've got a dark canvas to start off with you get this folding effect it's almost 3d i've even managed to get a wave into this i'm not quite sure how i did that i don't think it was wrecked all the way through but it might have been i'll talk about wrecking in a little while and this looks like the underside of a mushroom or the leaves of an old book here you go greens and browns now this particular murky mess that you can see here ended up being absolutely wonderful in the finished composition so it wasn't that murky and sometimes your painting looks a bit blurred but that's okay it just means that your lines aren't defined and they're not meant to be and whatever happens is always what's supposed to happen i love the colors in this it looks like the northern lights and look at that beautiful copper line right through the middle here we go, wrecking. You need to use a lollipop stick or maybe a toothpick. And once you've finished your ring, you then draw lines through it and you wreck it. And then you can tilt it and all these wonderful, wonderful patterns come up. You'll be surprised what happens. There's even like a streak of lightning in this one. Negative space. We don't often get negative space when we're doing ring pour techniques. And I was going for universe, but that's not what I ended up with. And then I got this. Right at the end of finishing my ring pour, there was a droplet. I was so annoyed. I thought, what am I going to do? I can't change it. But you'll see the end result. And I was amazed. Got these lovely swirling patterns. And on the left hand side, almost look like fingers. Okay, here's my finished paintings. See which one's your favourite. Here's Lady in a Dream. This is the one where you had the northern lights. Can you see her? She's just on the right in the middle. And she looks like she's in the swirling whirlpool of clouds. The reason I had this painting this way up is because I could see a face blowing the wind, but you might prefer it if the tunnel was towards the top. I have no idea why I called this Volca <laughs> Volcano Lake, but to me that's what it looked like and the name stuck. I know there's no reds and oranges in there. Now, what looks like white is actually silver, metallic silver. And to me, when I finished this painting, I looked like I wanted to burst through the surface of the water. Remember those murky colours? Well, here you go. This is Rose Garden. Now, in the top right hand side, I didn't like what was going on. So I scraped it off and I just put those purples and blues on it. Pterosaur. <laughs> Here we go, all those wavy patterns. I hadn't wrecked the middle, but the wavy patterns of the wrecked sides actually helped the painting. 
I love this. All those little white droplets that I had at the end, well, silvers, greys, because there's no white in this painting, ended up being birds. Love it. Remember that drop? There you go. Can you spot it? It's an eye. Can you see the face? He looks like he's wearing a cloak of fur and the hands are coming round. I just love it. Well, thanks for watching this short video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and I'll see you next year. Take care now.